Uh, Ms. Philpott, good evening. Good evening. It only took us two nights to get you here to finally do something that was mandated by the state. Um, I'm excited, WL French. You see, you see their trucks run up and down the highway all, all day long. Um, fun little fact, the owner of their company is actually a Waltham uh, resident. Oh, that's good. Lives over at Clark's Pond. So I'm excited for that because I feel that, you know, Waltham roots want to take care of Waltham. Um, doing this work, you're, what is the projected start date once this goes through? ASAP, I would say hopefully ASAP. early April, yeah. So they, they, they'd be ready to move immediately? They're ready to move, yep. Have they come up with a plan yet um, based on the site as to which how they want to attack it? I think once the contract is executed, there'll definitely be a pre-construction meeting to discuss that, um, but we haven't had a contract executed yet without funding. And you were saying that it's 500 yards of PCBs and metals Mm -hmm. uh, and they're going to do boring sites as well once they get started to check if there's any other contamination? The borings have already been done, which are in the RAM plan. Okay. Um, I believe once they start excavating and stockpiling, they'll be testing those piles. Okay. And then, it, you know, just, just this whole thing has left such a nasty taste in my mouth. We bought this a year ago. Part of the contingency was that, you know, we bought it for 17.4 because we knew it was dirty and we were going to clean it. It was Christmas, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, that entire weekend, and the emails kept coming over and over and over again about the farm. This council vowed to protect the farm, clean the farm, keep the farm going as is. The executive branch and all of the staff below it, that's all we've ever wanted to do. Um, and then last week, we made a, we wanted to suspend the rules because time is of the essence with the farm. Every week that goes by is just a week closer to the growing process and one week less that they have to prepare this land for it to go out to RFP. This one piece is still not an RFP. Everything else is, is going out because we, we know the urgency of the farm. And RFPs go out every day in the city. I mean, that's why you're here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this earlier today at 6 o'clock, we, we approved three-point-something million dollars for the redoing of Vets Field. No emails, no phone calls, 900 kids in soccer. We then, there was, there was another appropriation that we did. Um, it's, it's skipping my mind. But for some reason, this, this piece of land has caused divide. You know, it's kind of ironic. We're dividing the farm is what we tell them. So I am super excited that we've got the bid. I'm super excited that the Ward 6 counselor is leading the charge and made the motion. This is his backyard. This is his people. And quite honestly, I'm done speaking about it. There's nothing else. The mayor stood up here for four hours and got assaulted and spoken to how an executive shouldn't be spoken to, and I won't tolerate it anymore. So not only do I want to support the counselor from Ward 6's motion for approval, but Mr. Chair, I move the question. <laughs> 